Today we are going to the restaurant by MRT. Let's go our ticket. Let's go get ticket. Hey. Hello. Hello. Taipei Linki. Yes. Chang Li Chang. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Ah. Taipei. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Thank you. Yay! Let's go. Get onto the train. Let's go. Open the sesame. Here. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, what are you gonna eat today? We're gonna have some dim sum. Dim sum. I know dim sum. How do you know dim sum? It's dumpling. <laughs> Everybody knows dim sum. Oh, you have dumplings, but you also have other food like um, the soup dumplings we're going to try. All right, soup dumplings. I don't know that soup dumpling. But... We are going to a world famous restaurant, and here we have Taipei One Hundred and One. Oh, we're reaching our station. So after we've talked about so much about dim sum, and now here we are at the dim sum place. Yay! I've heard a lot about this place. There are over 160 of them worldwide, from Sydney to Los Angeles. Yes, and it originated from Taipei. Okay. Do you have one in Germany? No, we don't have one in Berlin. We do have dim sum in Berlin. But it's a different from dim Thai phone, and Why? we have to go in and you'll find out. All right, well, let's check it out. The dim sum here is quite unique. It takes the train staff 10 to 15 seconds to make one 18-fold dumpling. But don't confuse these with Western versions. Din Tai Fung is a very popular restaurant thanks to its soup dumplings. And here we are. Finally. Finally. Well, I'm always amazed by the group of tourists hurling at the entrance. There is a line a mile long outside. My goodness, this is certainly a popular place. We're lucky that we can get in. I want to talk a little bit about the origins of dim sum. I mean, it seems it, it is worldwide. A lot of people know it. Here you call it shen. Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> Chao long bao. Yeah, Chao it's one bao. kind of Chao long bao. A, one kind of dim sum. Xiao long bao. That's the basket steam bun, okay? So, okay, wait, a bun. Well, xiao long, xiao long means basket? You'll find out. Guten Tag, ich heiße Joy. She speaks German. Und hier ist unsere xiao long bao. Und hier ist Soße für xiao long bao. Und die Empfehlung für Sojasauce und Essig sind 1 zu 3. Und sie kann mit Inverschreifen haben. Hast du das alles verstanden, mein Lieber? <laughs> what? No, okay, I'll about? translate for you now. It's my turn to translate. What was she talking about? She was telling me a little bit of how to put the sauce in with the dumplings and how you eat them. Oh, so, so now you're getting it. Oh, so what was she speaking? German? She was speaking German. Oh. Very unusual. So it just shows how international this place is. Wow. wow. On weekdays, the staff makes seven to 8,000 chao long bao and 12,000 on the weekends. They pay close attention to detail and to the balance of the ingredients. Where does this come from? I know I know that this restaurant originated in Taipei, but yeah. Xiao Long Bao is well, it's said from like mainland? in yeah, yeah, in China in 1812, like they have um, people trying to make different buns, and especially in Shanghai area, okay. they make a very different kind of Xiao Long Bao, which they have really thin skin. So right. if you you can see one of one of it, remember like. Ecoic dumplings or buns, they all have a certain like look. Yes. Remember some uh, soup dumplings, they, are, they look fluffy or white. Okay. But here you can see, it's translucent. Right, and what I'm noticing is the delicate folds. They have 18 folds for each shalong bao. 18 folds. Okay, here is how you eat it. You will open a small hole beside it, and you will have the juice coming out, and then leave it on the spoon. There we go. You go first. Wow. 
wow. That is so, like, silk in your mouth. Uh-huh. It's so smooth, it's so juicy. The pork is very mild. Mm -hmm. The ginger's coming through. It's this taste sensation. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. The dumpling contains little pockets of gelatinized broth made from chicken, pork, and cured ham. When steamed, the broth gelatin melts. I think for some of the cuisines, they only have a, a few truffles, like just a bit. But really? here, yeah. Well, what's the black part then? That's a truffle. I mean, like, they right. have a lot of them. Then I'll go first then, because it's my first time. Okay, this is your first, this is your first you, time. You have There's what? a first for everything. You have truffles every day. Me? No. I can't afford you <laughs> truffles every day. Really? <laughs> I thought you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has the taste of the mushroom. Oh, it's pungent. 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 pungent like a mushroom. And also kind of like aftertaste. Right, that's the, yeah, that's the Going truffle. around. Yeah, it's very light. You truffles, garlic. Oh, they mix it. There's a, there's a, a hint of garlic in there as well, but the truffle really light so it doesn't overpower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Very delicate. Egg fried rice is also a specialty of Din Tai Fung. Here it serves as a complement to Taiwanese-style pork chops. So besides Xiao Long Bao, we have more delicious food here. Wow, this is amazing. Tell me what's on the table. Well, I can't tell you because you have to pass Another secret. the food challenge. Oh, no, I'm not. What? It is a big challenge. Right? right now, the challenge is that you have to pick three pieces from three plates in 30 seconds. Probably. And after this, you got to enjoy the fried rice and oh, the chicken soup. Oh, that's my prize. Oh, yes, your prize is right, in front you know of you. What? This is a piece of cake. Okay, let's count down then. Three, two, one, go. Go. One. Ten seconds. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Five. No. You're four. No. No, no, no. Three. That's not 30 seconds. Two. That's totally not 30 seconds. Two. <laughs> one point five. I did it. Time's up. Okay, it. let me check. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. I did it. Okay. So now I get to try that. Now you may claim your prize. Yay. These pork chops are cooked with minimal seasoning so that the natural taste of the meat comes through. Here in Taiwan, we have short grain rice, and we have a lot of farmers growing rice here. With local so rice, really nice, long, really good. Not the long, sticky rice. Not the long, sticky rice. Okay. So I hope you can try the rice first. Okay. Like you said, some of the simplest dishes are the hardest. Yeah. What about the rice? The rice tastes like rice. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Because it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. See? No. Excellent. The rice is bouncy. It's bouncy? The rice is bouncy? Yes. And what but else is it? it? For some of the long the grain nice rices, yeah. it can be um, hard. Right. So here it's soft, but not okay. too soft. So right. when you, you chew, chew it, it, you chew it and then bounce back. And also the pork chops. Crunchy on the outside, but juicy on the inside. Yeah. What's the taste? That's cinnamon. Or what is that? It's cinnamon? What, what's on the outside? I think outside? they have black pepper on it. There's a, there's a sweet taste coming through. There's something sweet. OK, that's a secret recipe then. Ah, it's a secret. Next up, chicken soup. It's carefully simmered for no less than six hours. The result is tender meat that falls off the bone. The one and only chicken soup. Chicken soup? Yes. I know chicken soup. My grandma made ch chicken soup. So how is this one different? So much like essence in the broth. Essence. You have to take. Oh, that is different. It's, it, it's lemony. 
It's a light lemon chicken broth. Definitely the most important thing is the freshness of chicken. The freshness of the broth. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Very the, light and, and, and tangy. Different from grandma's chicken soup. Well, my grandma's, are, I mean, now, you know, I don't know if I can compare it to Oma's chicken soup, but this is definitely a fantastic dish. And I'm so glad you like it. Wonderful time. Ty another wonderful Taiwanese dish. Yay. My tasty diary, Din Tai Fung Reflections. This is Taipei's number one address for Xiao Rong Bao, which means finger food in a basket. There are many secret recipes and methods, including 18 folds per soup dumpling, a true work of art. With over 150 restaurants worldwide, it's easy to see why this place is so popular. Definitely two thumbs up.